This is Colin from Debrew, and here I'm going to show you how to scale your campaigns. So there's different ways you can scale campaigns, and there's no best way on how to scale. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to scale, which gives you the least amount of risk and the steady ROI you're looking for. As you can see, I'm on the ad set level right now in Facebook Ads Manager campaign ad set. I just picked up a random campaign doesn't matter it's just an example what we're going to use is automated rules you ne might never have heard of it before automated rules as most people just duplicate the ad set or change the budget what happens when you change the budget directly on an ad set it means it's going to reset the learning phase meaning the pixel is going to optimize again and you might not have the same CPC, CPM, CTR data as before, as the process is basically being reset by changing the budget. This makes sense because, of course, you have more budget to play with. So Facebook is trying to spend all your budget and aims for you to get the best delivery. When you duplicate, you can keep your main ad set the same, as it just keeps running, but the new ad set would just be a completely new ad set. So why are we using automated rules? You get the best of both worlds. You do not reset the learning phase, but you're still scaling. However, it might not go as fast. What you're going to do is you're going to try, so in the old ad manager, it's under the edit options, in the new ads manager is under these pots, and then you automate the rules. Create a new rule, apply an existing rule, or manage rules. So first, if you have never done this, you have to create a new rule. Apply rule to this one ad set. Your rule will be applied to ad sets that are active at the same time the rule runs. Auction, ac uh, auction, uh, action, <laughs> turn off ad set, no. You see, you have different actions. So you could, for instance, say, turn off the ad set when the CPC goes above X amount. There are all kinds of different automated rules as you can use. Manual bidding, uh, turn off ad sets, so notifications. But we're going to adjust the budget and we're going to increase the daily budget by a percentage. And you go anywhere from 10 to 20%. Uh, and we don't do a maximum. Action frequency applied once daily. So every day the budget gets increased by 10 to 20 percent you can use 20 percent you can use 10 percent um, apply to everything we don't add anything here daily at midnight amsterdam time daily midnight just make sure it is daily you will receive a notification when the order rule has been set and you will receive an email i don't want an email but i do want the notification rule name um, mastermind scaling 10% increase daily. All right, we're missing something because we cannot create yet. All right, apply if the cost per result is, uh, if the spend is greater than 0.01. So that means it will always do it. Uh, maximum daily budget cap the maximum daily budget we want to spend is 1000 so it won't scale above 1000 then you have created your rule and you can go to manage rules and then it will take you to the automated rules window as you can see so as soon as you've created it all you have to do now is once you're at your ad set is apply an existing rule so you select your ad set, you click here, and you apply an existing rule. Which would be this one. Increase daily budget by 10% 10, uh, 10 if spent is greater than 1 euro cent. Apply. So it will only apply, then save rule. It will only apply to existing ones. You can manage all your rules, there's the window where we were before apply the existing rule 
or you can create a new rule if you want to do 10, 15, 5, 20 uh, percent. If you use the automated rule but increase the budget too much, I would say above 20 percent usually, um, it will reset the learning phase, just so you know. This might differ per country, uh, per audience, so we usually use 10 percent and I'm going to show you why. So spent uh, uh, new spent. So let's say we start with a three day rule and we are in the UK. So the UK pays three th uh, one euro 10. So the spend is three euro 30 on a daily basis, right? Now we're going to increase that by 10%, 1.1. And this will then be the new one. So what will happen is you see it grows very slowly, right? Uh, let's go like this, one decimal, yes. It goes from 3.3 .3 to 3.6 and the next day from 3.6 to 4. Only 70 cents increase. However, over time you will see that there will be drastic changes. Uh, so in a two week period, you go from three a day in spend to 10 a day in spend, right? Then the next week, it goes to from 10 to 22. Meanwhile, the whole idea behind this process is CPC stays relatively stable. Uh, stable. Of course, with higher payout geos, it might go quite a bit faster to scale up. If the data is good, so what this means, CPC versus versus EPC stays relatively stable. So when you look at the ROI, ROI, this might be, let's say, 100, then it will be 80, then it will be 90, then it will be 120, then it will be 200, then it will be 100 again, then it will be 90, then it will be 70, then you have a drop of one day, and then 90, but it will never go from like 300 when you scale, when you go like straight scale, so for a straight scale, you might spend uh, three euros one day and have like 100% ROI. Then the next day you put a 50 euro budget and you have minus 200, all right? Because it's just too big. With the automated rules, you don't have this. The chance of fluctuations are a lot less. Now, what would happen if we would use a 20 euro budget from the beginning? You can see it would scale a lot faster because the 10% compounds faster. So within a week, you're already at 30, a week later, you're at 60, and a week later, you're at 120. What would happen if we spent 50? Oh, not 5,000, uh, 50. You can see within a week, you are at 80, a week after that, you are at 150, and a week after that, you are at 300. Um, the Automated rules allow you additionally not to check the campaign, uh, not to have make adjustments on the campaign. So you can imagine if you have 10 to 50 campaigns running at the same time, you check your ROI in volume, you update the cost. And as soon as you have updated the cost, you can see the profit. You don't have to go in Facebook every time to see if the CPCs are still good, if the CTR is still good. Every single day you update the cost and you see which campaigns need work based on the ROI in volume, spend versus earnings. The automated rules therefore will take care of a lot of manual processes in terms of going to the campaign, duplicating it, scaling it, uh, where the automated rules, every time at midnight, the budget gets increased by such a small bit that there's usually no significant change um, obviously, when you scale this much, the CPC will obviously go up and the ROI will go down. However, it's relatively more stable than using straight scales. Straight scales are for more aggressive marketers and we'll briefly touch upon it later in this training series. Um, so this is how it works step by step and why we are using automated rules. This is how you efficiently and effectively scale your campaigns steadily over time. We're not looking for 
super big churn and burn offers where you make a thousand in one day and nothing the next we want to make consistent profits over time and keep the campaign revenue and profit as stable as possible that's why we're using automated rules good luck